Hello, everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 305. I just got back from speaking in Washington, D.C. to the National Society of Certified Healthcare Business Consultants. If your consultant's not pulling your data and helping you analyze trends and build charges and collections and all that good stuff in pivot tables, let's talk. I can help you. What I want to do today is go back just one step to show values as, remember percentage of primary insurance, Medicare, and we looked at this, and this was 100%, and this was 95% of Medicare, and this 107% of Medicare. You remember that from two videos ago? There's a different way to look at percentages that might be helpful for you. Here's how. We go in, instead of percentage of, we're going to do percent difference from. Remember, difference from gave us, in this case, the dollar amount last time. Now we're going to do percent difference from. So instead of 95.94% of Medicare, now what I want to know, if I do the, the difference from primary insurance and Medicare, see how instead it says, instead of being 95.9% of the total, now it's negative 4.1% decrease or less than Medicare. And we can do the same thing, obviously, if we do this. Percent difference from. And swing it over to years and previous year works for me. So now what we can say is over time, Medicare is down 2.19% and then it's up 3.8%. Sometimes that's an easier way to see it than to have this number be 98 or 97.8% or whatever of Medicare and this is up 103 or something like that. Sometimes just the, this percentage difference is more helpful than the overall percentage of. So I wanted to show you both of them. And again, to find them, show values as percent difference of is going to be like 96% of the total or 103% of the total. Whereas percent difference from is going to say 3% less or 4% more, that kind of approach to percentages. Either one's relevant, either one's accurate. It's just how you want to portray your data. If you want to do percent difference from, that's where to do it. And just like we've done in the past, give me a base field from what's in my pivot table. Give me the base item, the year or previous or next or whatever, and you are on your way and good to go. There are yet more calculations in here. Running total, percent running total, these ranks, all these other things. And that's where we'll keep going. We'll do it next time. Thanks for watching.